I finally have my filter paper and my sand dried. Um, I did use a little higher temperature than the 200 degrees and it's showing because I got a little uh, discoloration there. That won't hurt anything. Um, and it is actually over more than 24 hours because uh, I did dry it and then it's the weekend. So anyway, uh, we're back. Time to weigh it. And I'll first get my scale up and going. Got the dot, that means it's all ready to go. Put my uh, filter paper with my sand on there. So my, yep, my, oh, my dot left. And I get 9.53 grams. Yes, we'll take that. And um, so now my table is complete here. Uh, I've got, um, and so uh, now let's see some things. You can see I did this calculation. Let's just talk about all the calculations in this video. So the uh, mass percent of each of these, so this is the mass of the beaker, beaker plus plastic, etc. Then I isolated each of these, so 3.38 grams is the 28.11 minus the beaker. Then here minus this gives me the salt. Here minus this gives me the sand. And then the percent is going to be mass of each component divided by the total here times 100%. I've already gone over how to do that. And so uh, all of the percents within rounding errors should end up to 100%. Uh, and you can see I've got three sig figs here, which is good because I've got three sig figs for each of my masses of my components. Four sig figs here, but multiplication and division always ends up with the smaller number. Now let's fill in this table down here. So um, in sample before experiment, I've got my sand, which was 7.90. I've got my table salt, ooh, so yes, which is 7.99, and those are grams. And I've got my mass of plastic pieces, which was 3.38. Um, recovered after experiment, well, uh, my sand after the experiment is going to be filter paper plus sand minus filter paper. So I'm gonna subtract these two numbers. Seven point nine two grams, so pretty close. I actually, it it looks like I got more, which is physically impossible. So there must be an error in there. Uh, that's a two, and then I can get my mass of plastic pieces, um, and that's going to be beaker plus plastic pieces minus beaker. So twenty eight point one. 24.75, 3.35, so pretty close. And, oh, sorry. And now let's talk about how to get the mass of the table salt. Well, remember, the table salt was in that solution that, uh, so it was dissolved. That's why it's not, um, didn't float and it, uh, it didn't stay a solid, so it didn't get caught by the filter. Um, so we're going to do that by subtraction. And we know that we started with 19.27 grams of unknown of sample. We know that we have, according to our calculations anyway, 7.92 grams of sand. And we know we have uh, 3.35 grams of plastic and that's going to give us our estimate and if we wanted to we could have boiled off all that water and and weighed the salt that's a little more complex uh, than uh, I'm ready to do in this lab but let's see so 19.27 minus 7.92 3.35 and our estimate is that right that's what, again, it says it's exactly eight grams, which I think is right actually, but whenever I get a whole number like that, I, I like to do it again, minus 7.92, minus 3.35, yep, eight grams. So this is gonna be eight 
0.00 grams, which is again a little bit more, and it looks like that's because we recovered a little bit less of our plastic. Um, but these are pretty good numbers. These are very close. Our percent yield is going to be our experimental result minus, or sorry, divided by our um, uh, correct result. And our correct result this time is what we started with. We know that's correct because we weighed it out. So this is going to be a correct. Um, so our percent yield is going to be experiment or actual, we would call this, divided by correct times 100%. So 7.92 divided by 7.9 oh, times 100. I get 100.3%, or because it's three sig figs, it's going to be 100%. And to make it clear that we have three sig figs in this number, it's going to be 1.00 times 10 to the second percent, which is 100% with three sig figs. I think we're going to get 100% for all of these, which is good. That means that this experiment does work. Divided by 7.99 times 100. Same thing again. 100%. This one might be a little bit off. So 3.35 divided by 3.38 times 100. Yeah, this one I get 99.1%, which is easy to do with three sig figs. And um, those are our percent yields, and those are all of the calculations, I think. Let me double check. Oh, um, it says percent error. And let's go ahead and do that. Percent error, as we know, and we'll do that over here. Percent error is going to be experiment or actual minus correct uh, divided by correct. So 7.92 minus 7.90 over that's 0.92, uh, 7.90 times 100%. This is going to be the sand percent error. And when we see this here, we will get 0 0.02, which only has one sig fig. So our answer will only have one sig fig. 0 0.02 divided by 7.90 times 100. And we get 0.3% error. In the sand, and that makes sense because uh, it was 100.3% before. I'll allow you to do the other 2% errors. Make sure you show me at least one of your calculations. And the percent errors, uh, so uh, whatever you get is what you get. Make sure you do the calculations correctly.